Hello, my fellow soul gardeners, and welcome to Astro 103. We're now up to episode four, and we're talking about the transits. Now, in the first three episodes, we were talking about the sun and the moon specifically, because those are pretty powerful. That's really where it's all at. After that, I'm actually not going to be talking about these in planetary order. I'm going to speak in the order of really influence. And to me, the most powerful planet after the sun and the moon is Saturn. Saturn is the serious planet. Now you know in your natal chart, wherever Saturn is, this is where you have to take responsibility in life and eventually where you end up becoming an authority. So Saturn is about responsibility. It's about becoming the captain of our own ship. It's where we learn and where we grow. And Saturn is also where we prune. We cut away what's not working for us. Now Saturn is probably the most famous planet next to Mercury when it comes to astrology because everyone's heard the term Saturn return. Right? I'm going through my Saturn return. That's one of the terms that even people who aren't in astrology know for some reason. A Saturn return is a big deal. Now Saturn takes about 29 and a half years to go around the sun through all the zodiac races. So basically it's a 30 year cycle. And because Saturn uh, is a 30 year cycle, it actually divides most people's lifetimes into thirds. You have from your birth to the first Saturn return right where Saturn returns to its place in its chart that's at 29 and a half and your first Saturn return is basically the oh my god I'm 30 crisis right oh my god I'm 30 right and then you turn 30 and you're like oh that wasn't a big deal and then the second Saturn return is the oh my god I'm 60 crisis I see retirement on the horizon right and then you realize from what I understand that that's not such a big deal and then you have the third Saturn return if you live old enough which is the oh my god I'm still alive crisis right which is what you turn around 89 and a half 90 so Saturn always marks a really a significant mark in our spiritual growth in fact according to astrology you're still a child until Saturn makes its first orbit that's because Saturn is the awakener Saturn shows us where we're awakening where we're seeing reality it really basically breaks all denial when it shows up so Saturn says do you realize you're really this and you have these problems and this person's lying to you Saturn always is very serious straight to business not gonna pass go and without collecting two hundred dollars so in the first round around your chart in the first 30 years Saturn basically is awakening every part of your awareness this is why people in their 20s have an identity crisis you don't know who you are because Saturn hasn't touched every area of your state of awareness once Saturn has touched it all well now you know who you are there's no more big surprises there's no more areas for it to transit then of course in the second Saturn round the next 30 years now you're getting serious about these areas of your life knowing who you are so it's different you're more and improved and then of course your third Saturn cycle after 60 is you've already done all the work you've already ran uh, down and you know ran on the treadmill run the rat race all that stuff and so now that's really the wisdom cycle where you learn from your whole life's experience and you put it all together now Saturn right now as we tape this particular show goddess knows how long this is going to be up but right now today Saturn is zero degrees Libra so Saturn is entering into Libra for the first time in 29 and a half years the last time Saturn was in Libra was 1980 okay so Saturn in Libra find your chart figure out where zero degrees Libra is and that's where Saturn is now how do we interpret how that applies to our life well it kind of depends on the chapters so in the first chapter which is zero through ten degrees or zero through nine technically Saturn is going to tear down anything that you're in denial over that's what I found so it pretty much sucks usually chapter one of a Saturn transit things get torn down if Saturn's in the seventh the marriage falls apart or you can no longer stand in being single you know if Saturn's in the first then you reinvent yourself if Saturn's in the third then your mind games come to a crazy head and that's the point when you see a therapist if Saturn enters your tenth then you're, you get fired from your job what universe is doing is Saturn is tearing down like pruning roses it's getting rid of the energies and the things that are in the way of you seeing truth it's basically breaking denial and bringing you into your truth now here's the good news the only time Saturn hurts is when we're attached to the outcome or we think it has to be a certain way so my clients are always kicking and screaming uh, because they're finding their life fall apart in chapter one and I always say to them let it fall apart this is good this is awesome all this stuff is in the way so you have to learn how to work with Saturn because Saturn does have your best interest at its heart it doesn't want to create pain the pain comes from people fighting okay so don't fight it let Saturn come through and blaze things down and I'm at a point now in my life because I'm over 30 
where when Sandra enters a sector of, of area, I'm like looking for what's going to fall apart. And I actually even help it. If I start to see the bookshelf start to tilt over, I'm just like, go on. <laughs> I'll help you out, Saturn. If that's meant to go, let's get rid of it right now, you know, type of thing. And I work with Saturn, and I find it is a lot better. The good news is, as soon as whatever is in the way crashes, okay, then suddenly Saturn offers offers all kinds of resources right there. Saturn comes with, yeah, you lose one job, but there's another job already waiting for you. Yeah, you lose this relationship, but there's a therapist to help you through the problems that you had that got you in that bad relationship in the first place. I'm not saying you get instant gratification. I'm just saying that you have all the resources. So whatever is falling apart, the path is already there. And Saturn's quite professional. Saturn basically rules Capricorn, which is a nurse sign. You're going to have solid solutions. There'll likely be something you never considered though. That's the weird thing about Saturn. Saturn's trying to get you to get more responsible and to consider new, more mature, more efficient, smarter solutions to your life than the ones you have been living. So a lot of times you hit your head against the wall a lot in Saturn transits because you don't get that yet. And you just keep hitting your head against the wall until you understand or you watch a lot of Soul Garden. Then in chapter two, Saturn is helping you explore your options, okay? And you're getting, you're just kind of getting your feet wet in chapter two. So in the second 10 degrees of Saturn, you're exploring your options, you're seeing what works, what doesn't work. Maybe you have an old uh, cycle of your first weakness comes back, the denial comes back, but in a higher way, a more evolved way, a way you never thought was possible. So it's like, you know, in chapter two, if Saturn's in the seventh house, well, you and your ex-wife give it one more try right and you realize again on a deeper level why it's not going to work so the second uh, chapter is always kind of back and forth the Saturn transit where you go slip in the old you try something new and you're really just learning and exploring by chapter three Saturn is helping you to develop the final solution okay so if Saturn's in chapter three of your second house then you are starting to create the new income for yourself the new revenue stream you're freaking out about the bills in chapter one but by chapter three you're starting to figure out how to make money how to save money how to manifest abundance how to bring what you want you're not super good at it but you are learning so chapter three is about formally and professionally getting into place exactly what it is you want to do. Now the retrogrades of Saturn are really powerful because Saturn pretty much goes direct for about six months and retrogrades the other six months. So in all these chapters, you're, you're blazing forward, Saturn's cutting things down, and then as it retrogrades, you're realizing the ramifications of that. Oh, okay, now my, my marriage ended. What does that mean? What do I need to do? Just like with every retrograde, it's an internalization and a realization internally. So when Saturn's direct, all hell breaks loose. When Saturn's retrograde, you're sitting by yourself realizing all hell is broken loose, but most of the lessons are inside yourself in a retrograde and a realization, also the consequences of. So you leave your wife, and then retrograde consequences of, oh no, I'm an alcoholic, I have to face my alcohol issues. Okay, so Saturn is a serious planet, nothing to uh, be toyed with, but still, looking in your chart, you'll find it is exactly what you're working on right now. Okay, that wraps up this episode. When I come back next week, I have another planet for you. Live, love, be.